Libraland 1010. Hello, everyone. This will be like your daily energy check in, our daily download. We have the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the Light Sears Tarot. We have Man Holding a Heart at the bottom of the Energy Oracle that we will also use today. I don't know, Libra. At the bottom of the Zodiac cards, we have Leo. And Leo has been coming out very heavily. Confirmation with the dog barking in the background. Neptune at the bottom of the planets. Poseidon, I'm feeling Poseidon energy, which is really funny because it's 1.11 p.m. where I'm recording this reading. I just looked at my phone and it said 1.11 before I hit record. And I'm right by the ocean. And we're getting ready to go to the ocean right after this reading. So, <laughs> yes. All right, Libra. And I'm definitely going to try my best to give you guys that ocean side reading, just like I did last year, for sure. Oh, I'm hearing three more shuffles. The High Priestess. King of Pentacles showing up. I also saw the King of Swords in the pre shuffle. Page of Swords showing up as well. All eyes on Libra. We're starting with the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. <laughs> Let's go. We received, I used this deck for the Oceanside reading last year. And I will use it again. And I remember we received this Ten of Pentacles card in that reading. I just had an image of it. What's the situation for Libra? What's the situation? What's going on? What's the situation? Oh my gosh! Yo! You just had the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom, and the Ten of Cups is out. Libra 1010 again. This is stuff I can't make up. What's happening? This is such beautiful energy. I love this so much for you. With the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom. Just like I said in a painting that I posted, I took a picture of a painting the other day and posted it on Instagram of a turtle going up a set of stairs and I said the turtle wins. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> My link is in the description box below. Astral.ash. Anyway, the turtle wins the race just like the Knight of Pentacles. You're creating a money, a trail. Money is following you. You can repeat money mantras to yourself, right? I'll always have more than enough. Look at that. It was trying to, uh, luckily there's screens. I opened the window and that was just a fly trying to buzz its way in here. So you definitely have some annoying flies trying to peek in, trying to peer into your life where not to focus. Oh my gosh. With the high priestess at the bottom. If you're not feeling like you're quite in the 10 of cups, you got the nine of cups with the high priestess. Try not to worry about when this energy arrives, if you're not already in it, okay? Because it's all around you, Libra. Again, something about money mantras and affirmations and tapping in to that frequency that is around you, for sure. Where should Libra focus their energy at this time, Spirit? On again more Leo on the strength card remaining balanced poised but strong 
secure. It's like he who dares to wake the sleeping lion within Libra. And you see how she wears the heart locket? Keeping your heart close, but operating, remaining to operate out of your heart chakra, right? Being gentle as the lamb in the card, but also may give you may have to give a, a warning growl to let them know there is a lion that lies within. Don't get your strong, hawk, kind heart messed up with a weak, naive heart. There's a difference, says spirit for you, Libra, right? And we have the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom. Continue to work hard towards your dreams. And this is confirmation of the money mantras and money manifestation energy I felt around you. She's holding a green money manifestation candle. She's at her work desk working and actively manifesting. This is where to focus instead. Let's just go ahead and read a little bit about the Strength card and a little bit about the Eight of Pentacles because this is where Spirit would like you to focus at this time. Wow, Eight and Eight. Both of these numbers are so abundant. I just noticed that number Eight is the Strength card. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. Double abundance. Just like the 1010, double blessings. Double abundance is here for you, Libra. Remain strong. You got this. Strength. This is all about courage, but calmness. Having quiet strength. Influence. Graceful leadership. Being a gifted healer. Spiritual matters. Compassion. Sometimes lust or animal instinct. So you're very in tune right now. Your instinct and intuition is very on par, on point, on being. Eight of Pentacles. Would like you to focus. Oh, do you hear the dove? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, that's a special hello from heaven, Libra. That's my first time hearing one since I've been here. I truly hope the camera picked that up. That's beautiful. I have chills. My right ears ringing. The Eight of Pentacles about mastering a skill, being an expert, a craftsman, the maraca, the maraki that you put into your work. Patience and determination and living your sole purpose. With loving determination, I persevere and I become the person I long to be. Boomski. Let's get your outcome card, and then we're going to see the energy around you with the energy oracle cards, and we'll get a message from the planets. I do have the signs out as well. Bottom card, likely outcome. Judgment. Free your mind, the rest will follow. Be colorblind, don't be so shallow. Judgment. Look how she's just freeing herself. Freeing yourself. 
you really have to stay reminding yourself that you came here as a, a sovereign being, right? Do you really owe anyone anything other than us parents that bring children into the world? You do owe your children everything, you know what I mean? But other than that, when it comes to relation, other type of relationships, whether that's with whoever, it's about freeing yourself from expectations of others. That's what I feel with this judgment card, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. And we have the Page of Pentacles. Remaining balanced and grounded. Let me see the judgment. This is all about self-realization and understanding, a spiritual awakening, redemption, knowing your motives and your heart to be true. I'm reading this card and it just says, knowing your own motives and your heart to be true. Just like that strength card. Also having total transparency. So you, again, free your mind. See, I get these channeled messages when I just look at the images of the cards and it correlates with what's in the book. Total transparency. You are who you are. You're not trying to be like anyone else. Libra, you're good with who you are. You're becoming the best person. You were put here and meant to be. You know what I mean? It also is a glorious unveiling of spirit. So there's going to be a lot of signs that spirit is going to be sending you for confirmation. And that's going to be individual for everyone. But definitely watch out for the signs. I was outside earlier and two female cardinals came up to the door where I record in this room. And they were just hanging out. And I got it on camera. I might post it towards the end of my trip. But I got it on camera. The, she flew towards the door like two times to the room where I sit and record. And you know I'm like the cardinal whisperer wherever I go. But anyways, I got it because I was just happened to be outside when it was happening. And I was like, okay. So I felt that as like a uh, sign from spirit that I needed to come record for Libra as well. So here we are. Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. Thank you for the signs, synchronicities, and messages to come. We are blessed and thankful. Okay, we're starting with the sacral chakra, the second chakra, Archangel Ariel at the bottom. What is the energy around Libra? What does Libra need to be aware of? Wow. And we move straight up into the solar plexus, the third chakra, Archangel Camuel or Chamuel. Wow, you have Archangel energy all around you protecting you from magic. Okay, so quick message. Someone could be trying to send you magic to your sacral or your solar plexus chakras, Libra. So just uh, making you aware of that with the magician in the mirror. Hmm. Okay, thank you, spirit. I'm, I'm hearing just ground your energy, cleanse your energy, revitalize your spirit with earthing and grounding techniques, um, as well as utilizing water. It's the simple things. It's the truly simple things. Yes, spiritual baths are great, and I can't wait to get into the ocean and how cleansing that will be. 
But honestly, simple things as sh a shower can really revitalize your spirit and just um, remove any cords anyone's trying to attach, any dark magic attempts. And you can ask Archangel Michael to clear and cut away those cords. Hostilities. Okay, so there's people around you that are in some type of financial restraints and they're hostile. Because they see you as this garden and the gate energy. Very taken care of, either physically or by spirit. You always seem to make it out of Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry about that. But I'm so glad it didn't stop recording. See that? That was wild. You've made it out of hostile situations that were meant to take you down or under. And you remain protected in, the, in your garden, behind the gate, close to spirit. You see the birdhouse? Speaking of birds... Close to spirit. Look at the butterflies in the card. I've been seeing the little white butterflies and other butterflies. <clears throat> Whoa. Yin and Yang. Master number 22. I've been seeing that number a lot. Wow. With Archangel Metatron at the bottom. Your third eye chakra. Keeping your third eye clear. Keeping a balance. I know it sounds cliche or mundane or just whatever. Like, duh, Ashley, but yin and yang. What about the yin and yang card for Libra? What about the yin and yang card for Libra? People are going to try to... Yeah, again, they want to throw this magic at you to attempt to confuse you about who you are. What, you're, what you've been brought here to do is what I'm hearing. Knock you off kilter, knock you off balance. Or confuse you. That's number 23. That's crazy. All tied up is number 23. It came out right after 22. This has been going on all 2022 into 2023. Archangel Uriel. These people have attempted to look, try to read into your future, your Akashic records, but they have been actively blocked by these archangels. They do not have the clearance. That's the download I'm receiving right now. They do not have the clearance. This could be coming from a wealthy feminine, all this magic. We have a woman holding a coin with the black cat. This could all be coming from some type of wealthy feminine energy. See, she hires the magic she doesn't do herself. She hires people that are hard up for money, right? Financial constraints, hostilities, to do her bidding, to do her fighting for her. And she's just big mad because you have all these spirit guides and archangels and angels, guardians around you at all times. 
protecting you and also protecting your destiny. They don't have access. They can't get access, Libra. I heard they can only dream. <laughs> Maybe they can affect your dreams sometimes. And that's why I was meant to say that they can only dream. Like they can only try to affect your dreams, not your actual destiny. Message from the planets. Mars. Aggression, fire, Mars and Mercury. All right, let's see what this means as we wrap this reading up. Mars and Mercury. Words have power and can wound. Sheath your rapport wit and take more care with what you say to others. Okay. I want one more message from the planets. Your words can be very cutting. Libra. Our words can be very cutting. We can be uh, blunt, very sharp-tongued for sure. I've been very smart-mouthed, sharp-tongued. I have that capability, should I say, all my life to push people's buttons with words, right? We've got Neptune and Venus with the sun at the bottom. Neptune and Venus says, Compassion for others will soften your heart and draw more love to you. This is the source of spiritual bliss. Wow, so Spirit's really just encouraging you to stay in your own energy, Libra. Remain secure, stealthy, strong, <laughs> wealthy, abundant, but kind, compassionate, caring. You've got it going on. Oh, hold on. An Aries just flew to the floor. So there could be an Aries or a Leo, these fire energies of significance. And we do have a Cancer, Cancerian at the bottom. I'm hearing one more, one more. And Virgo with Pisces. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. We'll chat soon. Stay balanced, stay blessed, everybody. Peace.